Are you feeling trapped in your binge eating habits as if like you're running straight into a brick wall? You're not the only one that's faced this struggle. Like you, I've battled against the exact same things, once weighing like 370 pounds. And I've conquered these challenges and I'm here to help you make sure that you do the same thing. So today, we're going to be dissecting and underlying the causes of binge eating and equip you with effective strategies to break free from the cycle. So together, we're going to navigate the road to reclaiming control over your eating habits and moving towards a healthier and more fulfilling life. So if you don't know me, my name's Adam, aka Puffy. I'm not just some random guy who's trying to get you to lose weight for the sake of it. I've lost 150 pounds myself, okay? So if you're new here, hi. If you're not, welcome back. Um, I have a bunch of certifications. I had skin removal surgery, blah, 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 okay? And in this video, we're going to explore why binge eating habits, identify common triggers, and provide you with actionable tips to prevent it, okay? I'm going to share both professional insights and personal experience to guide you through it. And so let's get started on transforming your eating habits into ones that will support your well-being and goals. Now, before we get into the absolute nitty gritty, first of all, as you can see by this insane graphic, 97% of you are not subscribed. Please pause this video, subscribe for more because it's going to be a really helpful video and do me a quick solid like this video. Okay. All this is going to do is share it and send it to more people. Um, cause this is free. This took me an insane amount of time and effort to put in, um, to help you or who is ever watching this. And so all you can do is just click the little button. If you're watching this sideways, click it's on like the left. Well, I guess it depends which side of the screen you're on. Click the like button, please. Okay. I don't want to beg, but like, just do it. Okay. Now I've helped over 112 people lose 50 pounds. Here are some examples. Um, Ian, Mike, other Mike, Sammy, Colin, Jose, list goes on. We're not going to get into that right now just so just so you know again I kind of know what I'm talking about when it comes to this and this was actually a video that was prompted by one of my clients because he struggles with this okay so first let's understand binge eating it goes beyond just simple diet choices all right it's a very complex issue between psychological well-being and physical health this often stems from how people handle emotional and stress, right? So leading to episodes where they consume large amounts of food in a short period of time, usually without feeling in control, thus binging, right? And it's not like a habit, but it's kind of recognized as a disorder influenced by a range of factors, including emotional distress, psychological triggers, and sometimes biochemical imbalances, okay? So let's dive into the psychological tr triggers and neurological responses. So to understand binge eating, it involves exploring the psychological triggers and the neurological responses that drive this behavior. So binge eating is often a coping mechanism for dealing with negative emotions such as stress, sadness, anxiety, depression, sometimes anger, but most times stress, depression, anxiety, right? Neurologically, when someone binge eats, their brains are going to release chemicals like dopamine, which creates a temporary feeling of pleasure or release from distress, reinforcing the behavior. Psychologically, this will then trigger such feelings as inadequacy, loneliness, or significant stress can then prompt binge eating episodes, and this can become a habitual thing. So this can become environmental such as the or, or or sorry this can become environmental such as like a certain food being in your presence right for me it was like chicken fingers or potentially certain social settings right you're at a party and you kind of like don't feel that comfortable you're just going to stick to the food i get it i've been there before i've done that um so that's going to create new neurological pathways that will make binge eating a reflective response to specific emotional states and kind of get you to do this more often so i put in brackets talk about when i would binge eat a lot of it had to come down to my parents are going through separation i was um well i was not in that happy place and the one and only thing that really gave me like one of the only things that gave me comfort was eating and i would basically want to try to eat myself to death um and so i had a temporary feeling of happiness from eating my favorite foods and going to McDonald's or going to shout out to Wendy. But the second it stopped, I felt almost worse because then I realized, oh shit, now I'm more unhealthy. Now I'm going to weigh more 
And also on top of all of that, like my digestive system was an absolute wreck, right? And economically, like it's not that cheap to like go and binge eat at fast food. So overcoming or now understanding this, overcoming binge eating isn't just about self-control or willpower. I wish it was that easy. It involves addressing the underlying emotional and psychological issues, rewiring the neurological pathways through consistent, positive behavior changes and developing healthier coping mechanisms, which we're going to get to in a sec. So this understanding or this understanding paves the way for more effective interventions that go beyond diet and exercise, focused on the holistic recovery and support. So strategies to break the cycle. Number one and number two are the biggest ones. Okay. So let me zoom out on this. If it'll let me, there we go. Woo. You want to identify triggers. So identify common situations that lead to overeating and how to avoid or alter these scenarios. So my recommendation is that every action has a reaction, right? There's obviously a reason that's triggering you to start the binge cycle or the binge episode. It doesn't just happen naturally. It occurs it only occurs naturally when this is like a reoccurring issue, right? So the same thing happens frequently. So then, oh, okay, now I'm going to go binge. But the root cause of it started for something unnatural. So whenever like a cycle or a binge cycle starts, try to find the root cause of it so you can mitigate that issue and challenge going forward, right? Second thing, healthy substitutions. So instead of reaching for comfort foods, Instead of going for junk food, instead of having chips, instead of having McDonald's, here's some healthier alternatives that are going to satisfy without the guilt. Because for some of us, binge eating is kind of inevitable. Like maybe we have a giant appetite, right? Or maybe it's just like because it's the our only way of, of coping, right? And I guess fundamentally it's better than like drugs or alcohol. But don't get me wrong. I'm not like condoning you. I'm not, I don't want you to like binge eat every second every day. It's, it's not, but... You know, it's not something that's going to do, like, much severe damage, except for, like, the emotional distress, which I kind of touched on, that it's going to put on you. Plus, like, I don't know about you, but when I did my binge eating cycles, it would release, like, dopamine in my brain. It would make me feel somewhat, a little bit of comfort in that moment. But then when I finished, I felt almost as worse as when then I started, because I put more weight on, and my digestive system was a wreck, right? Drink water, okay? So some healthy substitutions that I would recommend. Number one, the biggest one to do and look for would be high protein, okay? I know that's very vague, but it literally fundamentally high protein. Now, more specifically, or the most important thing is because you're going to be binging, right, on something, you want to take up as much stomach capacity as physically possible. So the best example or the best solution for this would be popcorn. Now, I'm not telling you to eat a giant bucket of popcorn that's loaded with tons of butter because that was kind of negating the point. But popcorn without butter is really high in fiber and it's pretty low in calories so if you were to eat 500 or even a thousand calories of popcorn you're going to be pretty full you could eat 2,000 calories of popcorn and it's going to fill you up right and it's going to it's especially because of the fiber another good option would be something like a bowl of berries because that's going to satiate your sweet tooth because it's high in sugar and again it's really high in fiber so you can eat a whole lot of it it's and they're low in calories right so you can eat, eat a whole lot of it for a low amount of calories you can also do like a protein smoothie you can, do, you can take that protein smoothie, you could add a, a thickener, you can make it into a smoothie bowl. You could do an acai bowl. Um, other good examples would be watermelon or cucumber. They're very water-based, right? So you can do a lot of it, it's low calorie. Like, just go eat a giant, like, go eat an entire watermelon, that's 800 calories. Be my guest, okay? Now, if all else fails, if you don't like any of the other options that I just mentioned above, I know this is gonna sound crazy, but just cook a crap ton of lean protein, ideally, right? Whether shrimp, whether cod, like white fish, doesn't matter, or a uh, chicken breast, turkey, um, or like ground turkey, or even if it's a steak, like I swear, I, I promise you, even if it's four steaks, you're gonna grill four steaks, and you're gonna eat all four steaks, and you're gonna be full from that. There's absolutely zero chance you eat four, you could be 200, 300, 400 pounds. You eat four, four steaks, even three steaks, you're going to be full, okay? It's much better that than going to McDonald's and blowing a hundred dollars on 17 Happy Meals because that's going to get you nowhere. It's just going to pretty much put you back into the exact same position, if not worse. And this is one of the pivotal reasons I struggled for so long with my weight loss journey. Okay. Other steps and strategies. Mindfulness. 
So you want to practice being present and aware of your eating habits because this can help you recognize the difference between emotional hunger and physical hunger. Another great suggestion would be to establish a routine. So create and stick to regular meal times. Avoid skipping meals because then that will lead to overeating. That's a very common thing I see happen all the time where like someone eats breakfast or they skip breakfast, whatever, and then they skip meals and then they just binge eat because they skip meals, right? It's much better to just space out instead of having 2,000 calories in one sitting. Like that's OMAD. I hate OMAD. It's much better else to space it out because you're going to, it's better for your metabolism, but it's also going to keep you more full. Okay. Environmental control. So if you're someone who doesn't like certain social settings and that makes you bingey, stop, right? Remove that, right? Or if you're someone at home who knows you're going to binge eat no matter what, remove the shit from your house. If you don't have shit to binge on other than berries or Greek yogurt or popcorn, guess what? If you're going to binge, you're going to have to be forced to binge on that, right? Because I know for me, I was too lazy and I wasn't going to go to like walk to Walmart or drive to Walmart to get to go and binge eat. You want it quick. You want it like fast, right? So have that readily available instead of stocking up on chips or candy or junk food. It's really not, it's not logical. Okay. Seek support. There's nothing wrong with seeking support. There's nothing wrong for asking for help. Right. There's a, that's why alcoholic anonymous. You, the first thing is like, uh, accepting that you actually need help. So join a support group or, or hire a coach or a therapist, right? Because it's sharing your experiences will actually with other people or with someone with similar challenges will provide encouragement and insights or just rewatch this video because here's like uh, how to overcome binge eating 101 from a guy who used to do it who weighed 370 pounds okay and then you want to celebrate successes okay so even if it's so even if it's minute right if you're binge eating every week and you went an entire week without binge eating no don't reward yourself by binge eating but you want to celebrate it reward yourself with anything it could be as simple as buying a, a shirt I don't know just as like a crazy thing to throw okay because I mean, a lot of people tend to celebrate and then like they give them celebrate with food, but you don't need to do that, right? But whatever is going to help to reinforce positive behavior to boost your motivation to continue to not binge. You, okay. Now, what's one, what's one trigger that you struggle with? What's something that you binge eat a lot? So I'd like you to share that in the comments below and let's discuss how to overcome that together. And on that note, if you found this video helpful, again, please make sure to subscribe and hit the like button. Um, and if you really want to go out of the way, I don't know what it does for the algorithm, but hit the notification bell so you don't miss out on more helpful content, more helpful content like this. Um, and remember, okay, you're not alone. Um, I know this, um, this journey, this ups and downs, the cycle, the weight loss journey, it's not easy. It's really not easy. And I get it. Right. So. When I started my journey, I felt like a chicken with his head cut off. I didn't know what I was doing. I didn't know where to go. I didn't know who to listen to. There's all this bullshit on the internet. You don't know what's right. You don't know what's wrong. And so that's why I created this free school community. I swear, there's nothing. There's no strings attached. If you go there, it's just going to simply ask you for your email so you can make an account. Right? So it'll be the second link in the description below. I would highly encourage you to, to check that out. Best way I can describe it is like a Facebook group on steroids. A um, bunch of great, awesome resources and videos on there. Now, if you are someone who is struggling, if you are someone that wants to take health and matters into their own hands, and if you're someone who wants to get tremendous success and results, like Ian who lost 120 pounds, like Mike who went from walking with a cane to losing over 100 pounds, like other Mike who lost over 120 pounds, both of these guys had no idea what, the, what they were doing with nutrition, both dads, both want to live longer for their kids, or maybe you're like Sammy who hated everything about her body. She was, was almost 300 pounds. I think she's like five foot six. And then she lost almost 150 pounds. She was actually the reason I went for the skin removal surgery. Or Colin, he lost over 100 pounds. Or Jose lost over 100 pounds. So if you're someone who binge eats all the time, or you're struggling with this weight loss journey, and like like me, like you know, there's so much information, there's so much bullshit on the internet, you don't know what to follow, what to do, and it's all overwhelming. Maybe you need a bit of personalized one-on-one -on -one guidance. That's totally cool. Again, I hired a coach about a decade ago, and he and I are like really good friends and he's one of the biggest reasons and pivotal reasons for my success right now maybe to be great maybe to be vague or maybe to be blunt maybe you're sick and tired of being sick and tired maybe you're, you don't want to be winded walking up a flight of stairs maybe you're sick of shopping at america if you're in canada <laughs> uh, maybe you're sick of going to you know george richards a double xl maybe you want to just like live longer for your kids maybe you want to retire easily so if that's you 
what I would encourage you to do is there's going to be a link down below to book a free custom game plan chat with me. Um, basically, uh, the link's going to ask you like your name and your phone number um, and a couple questions on like what your goals are. So then I can have like a bit of an idea of how like what we're going to talk about. But the game plan chat basically is we're going to go over your nutrition, we're, uh, like more specifics, what you like, what you don't like. We're going to go over your exercise routine or lack thereof, what, you, what you're doing, what you want to do, what you have done, what you like, etc. Um, and basically with all that information, create you a killer custom game plan to get you from where you're at. Let's say you're 300 pounds. And you want to get to 220 to get you from 300 to 220 with ease in a normal time frame. And the most important thing, sustainably, so you can keep it off for the rest of your life. Because ultimately what good is losing it could be 20, 30, 50, 100 pounds, 200 pounds. If you're good at gaining it right back, because if if you're like this, yo-yo dieting, it's going to get nowhere. It's almost like no point in even doing it in the first place. It's very frustrating. How do I know? Because I've been there. I've done that, right? So I will speak to you soon, or I'll see you in the next video. One last time, subscribe, like the video, and if all else fails, share this with a friend, because chances are you probably know someone that does a lot of binge eating. Um... I know in my journey, I would have found a video like this super, super helpful um, and informative. So, um, yeah, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.